sometimes that we have a tendency to complain and see the negative side more than the positive side. I don't know if it's because of the media. I don't know if because we are in the situation in the world where we are right now, so we are drifting down that path. But I have to tell you, those people I personally know would always take a positive twist on things. For some strange reason, always end up smiling. And it's sort of part of that bonus, which is really the essence of what you're saying. Now, I've just been told by my producer that we have time for a second BCG Minute. So the second BCG Minute is really Frank Foster. He's the managing director at Frontier, one of the leading VC companies in the US, and the founder of the Legacy Center of the Next Generation Leaders. So why don't we run the second BCG Minute? <laughs> Hi, Martin and Marshall. It's Frank Foster, the founder of the Legacy Center for Next Generation Leaders at the Graz Edo School of Business at Pepperdine University in Malibu, California. Our innovative master's program is designed to train next generation members of family enterprises and develop the personal qualities and professional skills that they'll need to become responsible and successful stewards of their family businesses. And more importantly, positive contributors to the greater society. So my question for the panel is, well, how should a young person, particularly one who is just developing their adult identity, think about this life ahead of them and develop a path that enables them to fulfill their own aspirations while balancing the realities of life and responsibility? Well, Aisha, this is the most super simple question you can ask. And you have one minute to answer that question. <laughs> I'm going to hand it over to you because I certainly can't answer that question. Of course, my answer is very straightforward, and that is um, design your life. You know, we let life come at us, especially when we're young. You know, there, there's a roadmap that most young people follow, go to school, you know, get a job, work hard, uh, find a partner, you know, create, live, you know, create a life, um, have kids maybe. Um, but that roadmap um, only takes you so far, and especially these days, um, doesn't really apply to many of us. So um, the, the thing to do is, well, design your own roadmap, which, again, is an incredible challenge, but it's also an incredible opportunity. I mean, we're probably th this generation is the first generation that really needs to do that. It's not even a choice. So yeah, and you're, design so, your life. you're so right with that. You're so right about that. Marshall, just tell me, when you wrote your book, um, what did you learn through that process? Because you were setting up an enormous amount of events online to learn from a lot of the business leaders out there. What were some of the key takeaways which you learned from that whole writing process? One of the things that I say is familiar with is I did programs over COVID with 60 people every weekend. And these were ridiculously successful people. Reed has also been in many of these programs and they just talked about their lives every week. And what I learned is just the value of having a community, a support group, people that don't have an agenda and are just trying to help you. And, and the other thing is on the more negative side of the new world, it's lonely out there. It's very lonely for leaders. It's lonely for very high visibility people. And for the people in this group, a lot of them have a high amount of social connection and anything they say can be used against them and can be put on social media. So I just found it wonderful. Rita, what are some of your reflections? You were in many of those groups. I think the honesty and the sense of trust has been amazing, what you've established. Um, I would also say so many of the solutions to the issues people bring forward are actually in the conversation that, you know, maybe it's not a solution, but maybe it's a next step. Um, and that brings me to another idea on this sort of how should a young person be thinking of their lives? Uh, two, two things. I think one is be thinking about tours of duty. Right. Don't think that because you've taken a step that you're committed to that step forever. Think of it as here's what I'm going to learn and here's what I'm going to learn from this next tour of duty. And when it's done, I'm going to stop and reevaluate. And the second is a concept from Carol Dweck called think about having a growth mindset. Right. And so instead of giving yourself a score, and this is something Gary Ridge talks about, it's like, don't grade my paper. Give, you know, help me get an A. 
And so it's like, okay, you didn't pass the test yet. <laughs> you didn't do this thing you wanted to yet, but that doesn't mean you should give up. Good advice. And uh, by the way, if you are curious to see some of the past shows we have produced, because we are now up to a whole year's of production, well then check out martinlindstrom.com slash mm forward slash for show notes, hundreds of free videos from many of our shows and free tools. And by the way, you will see this wonderful guest out there right now. Now, Marshall, just help me here. What are some of your takeaways from our conversation today? I think my takeaway today is to really challenge people to look in the mirror and think. And, you know, it's hard to do. And it's easy to talk about in theory. It's very challenging to do. It's easier to coast along. It's easier to just sort of drift and be what we have been. Inertia can take over. And I, I think the learning point that I got out of today from, from both the Rita and Aisha is really challenge yourself to look in the mirror, challenge yourself to say, can I be more? And if I look at my life, the people who've helped me the most have always said one thing to me, you can be more. That's always been the one message they gave me. You can be more, you can be more. And I was a lot of times doing pretty good where I was, yet I was inspired to be more. So look in the mirror yourself and say, can I be more? And the answer is probably yes. Mm -hmm. 